have a Genesis 9 character that I imported in just a few clicks. I imported the character in one click, the hair in one click, and the clothes in three clicks. Now the character is ready to be imported into Blender. First, we save the character to this directory. This directory is monitored by Blender. This is where you save your pose presets. This is also where you save your audio from Mimic, Azure, and otherwise. The temp directory is for extra files you don't need at the current point and the anim directory is to save the files that you animate with. This is the folder where your add-on is installed. Copy the folder named scripts and paste it into the base of your DAS library. Next, click refresh on your scripts folder in DAS Studio. Now you'll see the diffeomorphic folder that was inside the scripts folder appear inside your asset directory. All you need to do is click export to Blender, and this will save a dbz file with the same name next to your character file. This file is necessary for the import system to work. Next, go to the DAS import panel. This is located on the F panel inside the add-on. This is where the imports are done. Scroll down a little and you will see all the morph settings enabled right now except for two which are not always necessary. Enabling these settings will ensure that your morphs from DAS Studio are imported along with your character. Once that is set, I click the monitor button to import the character. Console output will appear, providing information and alerting you if any errors occur. The character came in along with the camera from Des Studio. I'll click this button here to cycle to the camera. The character was imported without animation. Since we bundled the Diffeomorphic add-on and use its API, we can now go to Diffeomorphic's runtime panel and you will see them and can use them to animate your character. Please make sure to select the rig so you can see all the morphs. In the next video we will show you how to import a character with face and body animation.